So what you see here is a screenshot from Google Search Console on a website that's ranking solely using AI content. Now, a big caveat of this is that the content on here is all in Portuguese, right? These guys are targeting international markets. And again, this, the growth you see here, see here, sorry, is all leveraging AI, right? The content is all AI. And let me show you the type of content that they are producing. I'll show you for a different niche. I'll show you for the dog grooming niche because these guys are in the finance niche. And again, all this growth was achieved uh, in the finance niche, again, in the Portuguese market. Uh, but the type of content that essentially they were generating because they, they, they generated the content using this software called Journalist AI was like this with featured images, proper tables of contents, right? Key takeaways in article images that, are, that look quite real, but these are all AI, right? Uh, some uh, bullets here, some tables, some uh, quotes, right? Internal links, uh, more in article images, in article videos, right? This is the type of content that this generates. More links here, right? All this done with AI tables, uh, and down here a conclusion a, a FAQ section again, links to uh, internal links, external links, all this done with AI again. This is the type of content that they generate. This AI allows you to generate content for any niche, right? I have here a couple of presets, gambling, and if plastic surgery, I mean, you can choose your niche. These guys chose finance, and the reason why I'm showing you this is to show you that it is possible to rank sites on Google and other search engines if you leverage AI tools, right? And these guys are living proof of that because they're doing it over and over again. And the site is quite new, at least the blog the blog in the uh, Portuguese market. And what they're doing essentially is just they're going here to generate articles, right? They actually, sorry, they have an auto blog running. Essentially, an auto blog is something that runs on the back. And I'll show you how that works. But essentially, what they did, they did first is just they went here and they just, I mean, selected how many articles they wanted. They filled all these ones, making sure that they chose uh, Portuguese, right? And they started producing content, right? I mean, you can play around with this, but this is where you can have uh, videos to the articles, right? Uh, you can choose in article images, featured images. You can choose the type of images you want, stock, Google, custom images, or even AI. If you do choose AI, you can just change here the prompt, make it look cartoonish, hyper-realistic, black and white, and um, set up the internal and external linking, set up the structuring, knowledge, formatting. Uh, you can, here is where you can connect, can connect it to the web so that the content is up to date. Um, you can play around with all this, but what's, what they did essentially is they went to autoblogs, and I'll just show you this one right here. And what they're doing is they're producing, I think, 20 articles every week, right? Just enable this and click save, right? And again, every week, Journalist AI is connected to their blog, right? And they're producing 20 articles, right? Every single week in Portuguese. And again, all these articles, if we expand on these, these are in the finest niche, of course. All of them have featured images, tables of contents, proper content structuring, in article images, in article videos, internal links, external links, bullets, tables, quotes. Um, in this case, it's in the finest niche, so external links will link out to maybe Bloomberg, maybe uh, TechCrunch, right? Maybe Investopedia, and internal links will link out to their own homepage, their own blog post, right? All this done automatically for them. And again, just by leveraging this AI tool, Journalist AI, they're achieving these results. And it's still very early because I, I do expect this to grow even further. But because the, the international markets tend to be less competitive, right? The Portuguese markets is are less competitive because there's less people producing content. And all these markets, right, the, the non-English speaking markets are very, very, they're not as competitive as the English markets, of course. So you can leverage AI tools to produce content for these international markets and dominate these markets. So it's pretty cool. And it's a pre perfect case study of international SEO all done with AI because again, less competition means it's easier to rank for certain keywords in these markets. And speaking of keywords, you can also go here and leverage this tool to give you keywords, right? If we go here uh, to this keyword monitor, just add my URL, the country and the language, and we will spit out a bunch of keywords with low SEO difficulty and a bunch of decent uh, search volumes. You can use this AI to produce uh, um, content based on these keywords. So if I were to be producing content in, in Portuguese, I just go here, uh, select uh, Portuguese or Spanish. This will depend on the URL you add here and uh, produce content based on, on, on the language. So pretty powerful, uh, pretty short video, pretty cool case study. Uh, and again, it was done with this software. So if you want to try it out, I'll leave a link for this in the description. Give it a go. If you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.